Next is Jakob Schenfeld. Um, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. What you're about to hear is tragic. My name is Jakob Schenfeld, and last year, on August 22nd, I buried my beloved daughter because of what? Gender transition treatment did to her. My daughter had been in counseling for depression since the age of eight, 15, but had never said anything about gender dysphoria to her counselor. At age 17, her mother told me that she was transgender. She did suffer from rejection in school and was seeking affirmation. Five of her friends announced they were transgender. When she said that was she was trans, she finally had her peers' acceptance, so she thought, and she had not previously experienced uh, in high school, I mean the acceptance. When my daughter went to college, she began taking testosterone. When I saw her at the college, she was very depressed. Actually, she was almost rejected for non-performance of her academic studies. Um, a social worker presented a meeting with my daughter. Her name is Shannon Sonnet, MSW. She told me that my daughter was going to get double mastectomy. When I objected, objected to her taking such a drastic step at such a young age at that point, 19 or 18 and a half. Um, the social worker told me I was a typical chauvinist male. I am a typical chauvinist male who doesn't love his child enough. She said, this is what we are going to do and you need to just get on board. The social worker assured me that everything would be fine if I just loved my daughter. My daughter had a double mastectomy at age 19. Exactly when, I don't know, because she didn't speak to me for about two years. It wasn't my decision, it was her decision. At some point, finally, it was very painful to me that separation from my child, things were mended. I accepted her and to the best that I could because Inside, I was in such a dichotomy of feelings because I rejected this whole journey. I think it's against God, it's against um, biology, as we heard from Dr. Leila. I'm talking, okay? Okay. Excuse me. You know, it, it, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You, you got you got to stay quiet. You know, again, sir. Uh, you know, Mr. Senfield. Uh, Mr. Senfield, thank you so much. Your three minutes has expired. I really appreciate you coming. Now let's go on to your next. Okay, I'd like to call. No, no, we have three minutes, and that's it. 